You know, we are still dealing with some problems even more than a week later from the Colonial Pipeline shutdowns. We're going to jump right into that today. Problems at the pump continue nine days after a temporary shutdown of the Colonial Pipeline. Today, more than half of gas stations in North Carolina, about 2,800, don't have fuel. Now, that is better than the more than 4,000 that were out on Thursday of last week. Today, I got an update from Patrick DeHaan. He's the head of petroleum analysts at Gas Buddy. Things are slowly improving. Uh, expect more recovery this week. By Memorial Day, things should be uh, hopefully improved enough where it shouldn't be as much of a headache. There will still be some stations without fuel on Memorial Day. But like I said, I'm hoping that the recovery between now and then would allow most people to get out and not have to worry as much about filling their tank. The problem is not that there isn't gas, it's getting enough gas to stations. Tanker trucks are lining up to get fuel, but only a few trucks can fill up at once. DeHaan says the shortage at the pump isn't actually due to the pipeline shut down completely. The Colonial Pipeline was, was the attention getter, but the real issue that made this far worse and far longer was the fact that Americans were putting gasoline in Tupperware, in plastic bags. I mean. Even with the Colonial Pipeline operating this whole time, there would be no way for stations to keep up with this level of demand. No way in a perfect world. And so that's the focus, is that the panic buying made this situation much, much worse than it would have been. And this is what caught my attention, gas prices. DeHaan says North Carolina was the epicenter for increases. Prices jumped 20 cents a gallon in one week. He said costs should trickle back down, but he says they'll remain high as we enter the summer driving season and as the oil industry recovers from the pandemic's financial blow. Remember, you can always find the cheapest gas prices in your area with the help of GasBuddy. Just head on over to WFMYNews2.com. You can find a link to their homepage there.